Hello and welcome to another review of Drones Visual. Today, more than a review, I will introduce a product. I came across this quite a while ago, and because it looked very peculiar, I became interested in reviewing it. I'm talking about, as you can see, of the Lisam Kill 270. Now, let me tell you that initially there were two versions of this racer, one with the FPV equipment and with another one without it. But uh, now I can only find the version that comes with the FPV gear. I think it's good, although the one I have here does not have the FPV equipment. Let me list the things that uh, come included with the FPV kit so you have a better idea. You have the frame, carbon fiber with the CC3 Atom, ESC's motors, props, circuit board, FPV camera and FPV transmitter. I placed a link in the description in case you would like to go over the list with more details. What I will do today is cover the specs of this racer. Uh, then I will show you a little bit the frame uh, and then in the next videos I will get it to uh, ready to fly and we will take it for a flight test, uh, see how it performs. So let's begin by taking a look at the motors. The Lisam Kill 270 comes with a Ford 2204 2400 kb motors that let me tell you they look smoking hot the build quality seems pretty good but time will tell how good they are then we have the electronic uh, speed controllers escs bl heli 12 amps opto and they can support up to 4s batteries the fpv camera uh, on this uh, fpv racer it's equipped with a cmos sensor with a resolution of 800 tvl and 120 degrees wide angle lens then on the top i guess you have uh, the right space to play something like a mobius camera in case you want to record your flights let me show you a little bit the quad uh, how it looks from the side and as you can see the design is pretty aggressive it looks a little bit like an alien spacecraft or something like that the canopy is actually available in several colors and some stickers that uh, come with the kit uh, will allow you to customize it uh, and then you can place them obviously on the side of the canopy uh, now let's remove the upper section of the racer to get a better understanding of the structure of the frame and to get a better view of the inner section of the quad. I'll start by trying to remove these screws here on the side, see whether the canopy comes off. And actually I only needed to remove these screws here on the side and the whole front, uh, I mean upper section uh, became loose. Here you can get a better view of the upper section, the FPV camera is attached to the front part of the quad. You can see here we have the signal and power wires attached to it. And then uh, you have like different levels or compartments for potentially attaching your Mobius and any components you place within that section should be well protected by the frame. Now uh, let me take a look or let's together take a look at the lower uh, part of the quad, the lower part of the frame containing the circuit board, the CC3D Atom Mini flight controller, the ESCs and the motors. You might have noticed that there is a separate GST connector to power your FPV system and then uh, on the other side you have a connector to power the quad straight from a LiPo that can have up to four cells. The components are arranged with care, uh, everything looks tidy which I really appreciate. Then there is an aperture on the side of the frame that would allow you to access the USB port from the CC3D flight controller so you won't need to remove the upper plate or anything like that. Accessing the channels on the CC3D is also made possible by an aperture on the upper side of the frame that you can see over here and then you have the battery connector uh, also located in a convenient position. Overall the frame feels pretty solid and positive it will be able to receive some punishment although we might see that when we do a flight and a crash test and then uh, we'll see some results from that. As I was mentioning before there is also a video transmitter included with this quad. The transmitter has a power of 600 milliwatt so I expect some good FPV range as well although I did not get the transmitter uh, so I might end up trying it with a similar one. The current price for the Lizam Kill 270 is about 170 bucks. If you have your own transmitter and receiver, that is great. You can just put your receiver and you're good to go. But you could also get a FlySky transmitter and receiver for about 50 bucks. So you will end up maybe paying for everything around 220 bucks or something like that. In my next video, we'll be examining the frame a little bit further and hopefully taking it for a flight test. I hope this video at least was useful to you. Uh, and uh, if it was, please just drop me some comments here below uh, asking uh, any questions or just sharing your opinion I will certainly get back to you uh, to get the latest quadcopter drone uh, and uh, aircraft new directly from China please do subscribe to my channel thank you for your support and for watching and hope to see you all in my next video